So you're off the back of what was one of, if not the greatest failures in television history with the Rings of Power and you're going into the second season with hopes of a better result than was initially had and one of the biggest issues initially with your product was the use of identity politics and tearing down male characters to promote female characters who were just annoying and had no substance to them and were placed in positions of prominence simply because they were female and of course down with the patriarchy and what is your solution to this well let's just hire an all-female director for the season i just have only women direct the season two episodes no men and you know technically this in of itself isn't necessarily wrong or bad but we know that you know identity politics involved whereby you reduce an individual to a character trait rather than their humanity and you pick them purely because they are a certain demographic and that always results in failure but apparently not so for amazon but anyway let's just get into this story and tell me what you think about it this is odia coptis remember to like and subscribe and let's get straight into the video so we see here in this story with respect to the rings of power that the prime video announces an all-female directing team for law of the rings the rings of power season two and you know when you hear stuff like that, it always calls into question whether it's done purposefully. And, you know, you don't want to say, okay, what's the issue? All female directors, why is that a problem? Well, it becomes a problem when they were selected specifically because they were female rather than on merit. Now, who am I to, you know, how, who am I to suspect that that is the case? But with a track record of the individuals, not only within Prime, but in Hollywood in general, that would not be far off from what they are expected to do. So we see here that um, they announced that one of the directors, Charlotte Bronstrom, would return to the show alongside Sana Hamry and Louis Hooper. Those are the female directors they intended to direct the episodes of season two. We see that Bronstorm directed episode 6 and 7, which was a big battle episode where the Mount Doom exploded and any slow follow-up follow up to that. And, you know, we see that Bronstorm has experience working on the Ripper, Jupiter Legacy, and some other projects. So, you know, she has some mileage. And we see here how another one, Hamry, worked on Fox's Empire. So you see, you know, they do have some credit to them. They are directors who've been around the block. And, you know, there were two male directors, um, J.A. Boyana and Wayne Yip, and they will not be returning. They directed the episodes in the first season, some of them, but they will not be returning because they're men. Maybe, maybe not. You know, maybe that's a coincidence. These things could happen. We don't know. I know not many details have been revealed on what the second season will feature. So we don't even know much about it, but we know from what the showrunner said, how, you know, they, they wanted to make comparisons to the Dark Knight and the Batman Begins, saying how season one was Batman Begins. Now season two will be like the Dark Knight. And they also compared Sauron or Halbrand or Soiron, whatever you want to call him. And apparently they were talking about this would be his story in season two, really similar to how it was like for Galadriel in season one, which, you know, based on what season one offered, we don't, wouldn't want, I should say. And, you know, it's just at this point that they're trying to keep appearances up. They know how much of a failure season one was. And no matter what they say about, okay, we had all these viewers here and there, high ratings, whatever, you know, Nothing is going to change the fact that they will likely not get even close to the audience that they had at the beginning of season one for season two. We see here that, you know, they said how the show was such a great success, unprecedented. We have more than 100 million people as they claim within 24 billion minutes stream. I know it was true that they had a big boom at the beginning, but then it dropped off significantly as the weeks went on. 
and eventually fell off of the ratings altogether. But I won't get into the specific history involved in that. But the main point I want to make here is that it's ideologies and thinking such as this that got them into problems in the first place. Not only did they not understand the law at all, not only did they dishonor the law, not only did they just straight up make a boring and un uninteresting story, but they also push identity politics, which is something that is done in every um, project these days, seemingly. There are some exceptions, but the majority of these people are held, um, held together by uplifting or promoting this kind of ideologies, the leftist mainstream ideologies about identity politics and promoting so-called minorities to positions which apparently they didn't have before. And in doing so, breaking down the ones who did have those roles, as they would put it, and to them that's justice. But like I explained, when you allow identity politics to define your decisions, you are being discriminatory yourself for two reasons. The first one being that you're reducing an individual to a character trait rather than their humanity or the individuality themselves. They become a woman instead of an actress. They become a minority instead of an actor or actress. You know, we want you not because of your talent or because you can bring something with respect to character, but because of the fact that you're female or because you're Asian or because you're black. That's the thing that is being done. But what is also discriminatory is saying to other individuals, such as the dreaded white male, that we don't want you because you are white, because you are male. So you cannot be placed in a position of prominence. You have to be broken out any chance you get and, you know, and promoted below or have these individuals who are minorities promoted above you just because of the color of your skin or of your gender. And that's wrong no matter how you try to spin it. I don't want to hear about justice for the minorities or any kind of nonsense. But we see that they're apparently not learning their lessons. We all know this is going to be a failure also, but it'll be a failure that they probably can hide from, that they try to hide from season one. Although we all know the truth about season one, it is a complete failure, not only breaking the law, not only dishonoring J.R.R. Tolkien and the Lord of the Rings series, but also just being a terrible show, even if you take all of those things away. And of course, the identity politics part will always be an issue as well. But nevertheless, tell me what you think about the all-female um, set of directors for the season two. I believe that the Brown Strom woman will um, direct four episodes and the others will be split amongst the other two, as I mentioned. So I think it's eight in total. So tell me what you think about all of this. Tell me if I'm wrong. And remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you saw here. And have a wonderful day. The great Kendrick Lamar suggested that it would be best for someone to be humble most likely being humble while also sitting down. One way you could be humble is by supporting this channel, subscribing and leaving a like. Don't be afraid to do so and let's build a community together.